joined here, just minutes removed from the uh, the official weigh-in by father of the notorious Conor McGregor, Tony. First of all, Tony, how are we doing? Well, we're doing very well. I'm doing personally fine, and the McGregor camp uh, is doing better. And I was up in the Mac Mansion last night, yeah. and uh, we were just shooting the breeze up there. It was an oasis of peace and tranquility, and um, we spent about three hours there uh, with Conor and. Uh, I mean, the man is just—he's just an oasis of calm. Yeah, you know. And, and obviously, it's—it's it's well documented that that Connor, at some point, will probably move up to lightweight because obviously the the cut down to featherweight can be difficult. Um, but he, he looked very well on the scales. Was yeah. the weight cut uh, without problems in the end? No, there was, there was no problems in the end with the weight cut. In fact, last night, which would be Thursday night, uh, the night before the weigh-in, and he was one pound below his weight target yeah so there was no weight issues at all here he was he was bang on target minus one perfect and i wanted to ask when we last spoke in boston yeah uh, it, was, it was very well received that, that was interview. in the theater yeah i remember it and, and i remember asking you at the time uh, about sort of mcgregor mania as it was back in yeah. uh, january yeah. obviously since then he, he's had the the big world tour with jose aldo i know obviously we've had the late replacement with chan mendes but you said it you, you described it like a a continuing snowball or an avalanche that just keeps getting bigger. It's just unstoppable. Yeah. So, so how from January in Boston, can you can you describe how it's even progressed in the last six months? Well, his um, his uh, sporting personality has grown. It's gone global, actually. It's gone global. Uh, you know, back in Ireland, he's he's nearly worshipped as a, as a as a hero, a sporting yeah. hero. So it's just again, it's going to snowball again. This is just going to get bigger. You know until, as he says, the takeover will be complete. Yeah, and and also we're seeing things like, you know, I know he's known Arnie for a while now, but, you know, Arnie really is kind of almost becoming a part of his entourage. Apparently he pops over to the Mac Mansion. And That's right, yeah. Is it all a bit surreal? I imagine you watch things like The Terminator, you know, back yeah, 10, 15 very, years ago. it is very surreal. Not only did I watch it 15 years ago, big fan of Arnie, by the way. Uh, also, I saw his, his latest movie. Yeah. Uh, Terminated Genesis. Yeah. So uh, it's great. I mean, I, I haven't met Arnie personally myself, but I hope to meet him tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I asked Conor about that, by the way, about Arnie, and uh, will he be there? And Arnie said to him, he will be there. Yeah. Uh, and he will be there. I'm sure he will be there. Absolutely. And I wanted to ask as well um, Conor recently did an interview in America right. in which he discussed, you know, that at the time when he was a plumber and you yeah. kind of wanted him to persist with it yeah. but at times you literally it would at times come to maybe even a physical altercation yeah. well it was never physical it was always difficult you know um, there was the distance as well it was a huge distance to get a, a young apprentice kid yeah. onto a, a really cold rainy wet building site yeah. uh, as it was never going to be easy anyway it wasn't for him it yeah. was his choice we tried to push him for as long as we could you know, he made the right decision in the end. I was wrong. I've said it before. I was wrong. He was right. I was going to say because when I heard that story, I was I was sort of thinking to myself, uh, when are you making your debut in the UFC? Oh man, <laughs> I think I'm past that. <laughs> <laughs> and just a couple more, Tony. Appreciate the time as well. We saw on uh, on your Facebook as well yesterday. Obviously, you're nicely kitted out now. You're going to the same suit, man, as Connor. Yeah. Uh, are you enjoying all the luxuries of this journey as well? Yeah, well, I'm going along for the ride. I'm enjoying the ride. Yeah. 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 We do share the same tailor. Yeah, but I've, I've shopped at Louis before, before Connor hit, hit the big time. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Tony, I don't want to keep you too long. I really appreciate the time. Tony, it's a pleasure anytime, man. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, it's just, again, it's going to snowball again. This is just going to get bigger, you know, until, as he says, the takeover will be complete. Yeah, and, and also we're seeing things like, you know, I know he's known Arnie for a while now, but. You know, Arnie really is kind of almost becoming a part of his entourage. Apparently, he pops over to the Mac Mansion, and That's right, yeah. is it all a bit surreal? This, I imagine, you watch things like the Terminator. You know, back yeah, 10, 15 it is very, years ago. It is very surreal. And not only did I watch it 15 years ago, big fan of Arnie, by the way. Uh, also, I saw his, his latest movie, yeah. uh, Terminator Genesis. Yeah. So uh, it's great. I mean, I haven't met Arnie. I'm joined here, just minutes removed from the uh, the official weigh-in by father of the notorious Conor McGregor, Tony. First of all, Tony, how are we doing? Well, we're doing very well. I'm doing personally fine, and 
and the McGregor camp uh, is doing better. I was up in the Mac Mansion last night yeah. and uh, we were just shooting the breeze up there. It was an oasis of peace and tranquility and um, we spent about three hours there uh, with Connor and uh, I mean the man is just, he, he's just an oasis of calm. Yeah. You know. And obviously the, it's it's well documented that, that Connor it's some personally myself, but I hope to meet him tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I asked Connor about that, by the way, about Arnie, and uh, will he be there? And Arnie said to him, he will be there. Yeah. Uh, and he will be there. I'm sure he will be there. Absolutely. And I wanted to ask as well, um, Connor recently did an interview in America, right. in which he discussed, you know, that at the time when he was a plumber and he yeah. kind of wanted him to persist with it, yeah. that at times you literally it would at times come to maybe even a physical altercation. Yeah, well, it was never physical, it was always difficult, you know. Um, there was the distance as well, it was a huge point. We'll probably move up to lightweight because obviously the, the cut down to a featherweight can be difficult. Um, but he, he looked very well on the scales. And was yeah. the weight cut uh, without problems in the end? No, there, were, there was no problems in the end with the weight cut. In fact, last night, which would be Thursday night, uh, the night before the weigh in, and he was one pound below his weight target yeah so there was no weight issues at all here he was he was bang on target minus one perfect and i wanted to ask when we last spoke in boston yeah uh, it, was, it was very well received that, that was interview. in the theater yeah i remember it and, and i remember asking you at the time uh, about sort of mcgregor mania as it was back in yeah. uh, january yeah. obviously since then he, he's had the the big world tour with jose aldo i know obviously we've had the late replacement with chan mendes but you said it you, you described it like a a continuing snowball or an avalanche which keeps getting bigger. It's just unstoppable. Yeah. So, so how from January in Boston, can you can you describe how it's even progressed in the last six months? Well, his um, his uh, sporting personality has grown. It's gone global, actually. It's gone global. Uh, you know, back in Ireland, he's he's nearly worshipped as a as a, as a hero, a sporting yeah. hero. So 